Thanks for watching my video. Since I've made these five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's five videos because these two are the same. That's just a short. But ever since I started introducing these characters into BMMG, just these five or four videos or five videos here, I've received more emails on these five videos than I have on all my other videos combined. The absolute fascination with these characters has been unreal. So you can see like I made one, if you haven't seen some of them, I made this, I made this one, uh, and this one right here, I think it's about. So they're just animated characters, and you can import them into BMMG, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to make three videos on this subject. One is going to be how to get characters in, like that zombies and this old man. The second video is going to be how to get Spider-Man or any other character that you download into BMMG. And then the third video is going to be how to get the BMMG dummy into BMMG as an animated character. That's a little complicated because there's a space on his wrist. And uh, yeah, that's a whole different video. But right now we're just going to get the characters and you're going to be surprised at how easy this is to do. It's done here in this website called Mix Mixamo. And over here you have two tabs, characters and animations. Here's your characters. We'll pick uh we'll pick uh let's see. This nerdy looking guy and then we'll go over here to animations and we'll pick an animation. And there you go. And over here you have a few, you can scroll out. Uh, reaction, I'm not sure what reaction does, I've never seen that before. Looks like it just exaggerates the moves a little bit. And this overdrive is simply speed, slow, and fast. And character arm spacing just moves his arms up. Trim gives you, uh, just shrinks down the number of frames from 130. So if you wanted fewer frames, it would just narrow it. But <clears throat> So anyways, just click download once you decide your character and your animation. And there's a lot of animations and characters. The animations isn't just what you see here. You can type in keywords and find animations that are not listed. And there are a lot of them, trust me. So you go to download. And right here you want to make sure you pick... DAE, 30 frames per second, with skin, none, download. And then you have to determine what, what level you want to put it in. Some of these files can be pretty big. This one is, uh, oh, that's just 6.2. So it's called shoved reaction with a spin. So let's go ahead and open that. Now we have to go to... BMMG and decide where we want to put it. Now there's a little couple of issues here. There's two types of levels. Levels that people make and then you got the BMMG levels. The levels that people make are going to be here in your mods folder. If you want to put it inside a BMMG, you have to go to a different location. Steam, content, levels, and these are the BMMG levels. Um, and you can put them in here. Let's see, uh, grid map V2, levels, grid map V2, art, shapes, shoved reaction with a spin. That's the thing that we created. That's the animation. So let's extract that to the, to the same location. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to drag it over here because this is a zip. I have to use WinRAR to allow me to do that, but let's see what it does.
and it did take it. Very good. Sometimes uh, this this uh, this WinZip that is included with um, Windows 10 and Windows 11, it will not let you drag a file and drop it unless it's um, unpacked or not unpacked but unzipped. And you, like I did over here with this, you un you unzip it and make a folder. But anyways, it's in there. So it's in GridMap V2. And again, it's grid map, levels, grid map, art. And you want to put everything inside art, then shapes, and shoved reaction with a spin. So now we know where it's at. <clears throat> grid map V2. All right, so here we are in grid map V2. And I'm going to show you how to get that at character. So let's press F11. Bring up the world editor and go to your asset browser. And remember where we put it? It was in uh, art, shapes, shoved reaction with a spin. Drag it down there. And let's go down there and check them out. Oh, there he is. Oh, he looks kind of small. But let's go ahead and bring the vehicle over here for a comparison. And now oh, the scale seems to be pretty good. Because hmm. sometimes when I bring these characters in here, they're like really, really small or really, really big. If you do have a problem with scale, it's not hard to... Um, <clears throat> Let's get rid of this vehicle real quick. You. Let's go back here. Now, these characters here. Oh, wait. He might be selected. Yes, he is. Sometimes, if you can't select the character, go to Scene Tree and scroll to the bottom. And, and look for your character. Like, something else might be selected. And you see, you can't click on them. So, just scroll. All, bring up the scene, the scene tree. Go all the way to the bottom. And then click on them that way. Um, but if you do need to rescale them, once they're highlighted, come over here to your inspector. If it's not there, you just go to Windows and choose Inspector. And go right here to Scale, and you can change this. This is at 1. We'll make it the, we'll make them a giant. We'll make them 10, 10, 10. You can see how big he is. And they still maintain their, their graphics still looks pretty good. Let's see what happens if we go to 100. 100. 100. 100. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And it still holds its graphics pretty good. It doesn't pixelate or lose its detail. And you know, you get an idea. A car will fit and two of these squares down here, so look how big he is. Let's go ahead and put a car down here just so we can get an idea of what he looks like in scale. Let's go with, uh, let's put a van. We'll make the character even bigger. We'll go 500, 500, 500. So there you go, look how big he is. That's amazing. So let's uh, pause this. Bring up the world editor. I think that's, let's see, is that the character? Yeah, that is the character. So let's go to, let's try 300. 300. 300. Look at that. That is so cool. And what we can do is we can slow it down. You know those old, uh, those old Godzilla movies, they made them move real slow. Alt U, J, and now we'll slow everything down. That's so cool. So you can, you can import a, a, a dinosaur, a Godzilla character, and make them move real slow. You can make them step on a car and crush the car. You could uh, use different effects. 
and put cars underneath his feet as he steps on it and then cause the car to crush. You could do that with gravity. Just turn like right F11. Let's go to the the car. And let's bring the car over here. So right about there. So if you wanted to, you could um go to your recorder and have this record which is a complicated issue. I don't want to go venture down that road because it's a, a very complicated issue, but recording th with the recorder and these animations don't always line up correctly. And like I said, I don't want to... Hey, he disappeared. Oh, there he is. And then like right there, if you were recording, you could go to environment while you're recording now and then go to sun right here and you see it changes to negative 274 <clears throat> so right when his foot hits the car so right when his foot hits the car or the van gravity is going to make it squish we're going to slow this down a little bit more see it squish and then right when his foot comes off well I was hoping it would have flattened it but it didn't flatten it completely and then you could go to alt u and go back to earth as soon as his foot came off and then it would bounce back up so there is some clipping involved once the character gets really big <clears throat> but he is here <clears throat> oh there's a shadow so yeah I know he's there So anyways, that's how you get a character into BMG. My next video is going to be how to get Spider-Man into it, into BMG, and the next one's going to be how to get the dummy, the crash test dummy, into BMG. And that's a little tricky because right, if you look at this, oh, he keeps going. But on the crash test dummy, right here between the, the arm and the wrist, the hand, right here in the wrist, there's a space. And when you go to that Maximo, Mixamo website, it says please connect all body parts because it sees that gap in there and then it deforms the hand but it can be fixed and I'll show you how to uh, how to fix that I'm really surprised at how well it maintains all the uh, the graphics the it doesn't pixelate or anything no matter how big you get oh he's got more pins up here oh there he goes disappeared <coughs> so anyways Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.